Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be doing some decorating. Now I know that sounds stupid but we're going to be doing our greenhouse. We're going to be decorating our little egg pen. I've got some stuff set up for it. Uh, I am not going to be cutting really in between because I've actually already set my piping in the greenhouse so we don't have to worry about that. You guys can see all that piping in here. You can see it actually it's marked normally. Down there you guys can see where it's kind of marked on there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to currently run over here and place down all my little reservoirs would be the name I'm looking for. Now I created a pipe. It comes out from right here and runs up here. You guys can kind of see I hit it. I did hide the pipes because I'm using S+, plus, um, which makes it kind of cool. But you can find the pipe if you're lucky. You can find the pipe. There it is. You guys can see how I, can, I have the option in turn. Yep, pipe right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to place these babies down on here. I've got 10 of them. I've got five places to place them. We're just going to stick them down right like that, snap that baby there, snap that baby there, and kind of give it a little, of a, a, kind of a cool look, I think would be the word to use. Uh, I'm trying to make it look nifty, get some rain in there. If I just place them, pull them up. There we go, pull that baby up right there. Try to get that right there, there we go. That's going to go there, that's going to go there, that's going to go there. So those are snapped on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave those on there kind of like that, because I think that looks kind of cool, that shows they're going in. And then I'm going to grab, make my way up top, and then we're going to go down underneath and place some stuff down on there. But first things first, we've got to have some torches on the outside of our door so we know where we're supposed to walk in on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little standing torches and place them as close to these things as we can, just like that. There we go. And then place one right there, and there we go. So now we've got a little entrance lit up, which is going to be kind of cool. And then we're going to place a couple on the outside right here on these little sections. We'll place them right on top of this little piece right there. It's going to be the best thing to place them. We'll place those two on every single door out here. We'll finish that up off camera. We don't have to be doing that. Now we have to place down a bunch of crop plots. We're going to do this in the best way possible. So these are all going to snap on there very nicely, just like that, as it places weird. So we're going to go ahead and pull that baby back up. We're going to place our crop plots down. There we go. And it's placing very, very goofy, and I don't know why it's doing that. So let's try this again, see if we can get one to snap into the right spot. There we go. I don't know why it was doing that. I don't know what its problem was, but it's going to do that stuff. So basically what my whole plan was is I was just seeing if that would work. Is I'm going to place down a, uh, a couple of these bigger ones, place down some smaller ones, and have some fun with them and really kind of make them look kind of nifty, hopefully, if we can, if we can snap these things in here the way I want to. And it looks like, I think the issue we're having is, is I already put piping in here. And that's why the placing so goofy on here is the issue. So if I didn't have piping, we would be fine placing them. So what I was going to do now is we're going to do a quick modification of the thought process I had. And I'm just going to make like a little garden on the inside and have a little path to walk around for everything else. So we're going to do our corners just like this. We're going to grab that guy, put that right there. Grab this guy, put it right there. And if we have a pipe that we don't want somewhere like right there, I think we have a pipe down. Yep. So we're just going to go ahead and pull up the pipe. So we have it, grab this thing, and snap that baby right back up. We've got piping in here. I piped a whole bunch of this. But we're going to do our corners real quick. But this one uh, we're going to pull out. We have to leave some piping getting across because our piping is actually coming up from over here and not over here. So what I'm going to do real quick is place this baby down in there so we can place it. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull these up. Reason being is because I have them in the triangles also, so we're going to do the same plan that we had on there. We've got them in the triangles and place them in there and make it look cool. So that's the plan for these little sections in here for all this stuff. I'm just, I'm just picking all these up so it looks nifty. And we're going to place our corners just as we did. However, in this situation, we're actually just going to place two ones right like this. Here's another one like that. And then we'll just go ahead and place our four little pieces right there. So one, two, three and four and then I'm actually gonna place just four over on this side so one two actually nope that's right I was not gonna do them here so I wanna have a walkthrough so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our big crop plots right there and then I'm gonna place them down here just like that and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fill this whole inside section and make it look really nice and snap it on there you guys can see we've got another issue with Internal pipes will pull that baby out. So that's the plan with that one. We're just going to go ahead and snap those babies in there. I love them a lot. And we're going to get in there, and I'm going to fill in this whole middle section also. And we're going to also place them out here. And that's what I was really saving for was to come out here and possibly place stuff in 
these little triangle pieces, but they're being difficult. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to place these little ones on the corners, just like this. You guys can see. We're going to place all kinds of fun berries in here and stuff and have some fun with it is the overall goal here. We're going to place them right on the corners, just like we talked about. So we'll do the four right here. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. And then that one's got, we've got a little bit of an issue there, but it looks like it's actually going to let me snap into this, but we'll place them just like that so you guys can see. And then we're going to place our little corners right here. Now we're doing way too many plots. I don't need this many plots, but I thought it looked cool. And we're going to put seed in all these too, just so you guys know. So as I said, we're just going to place a bunch of stuff in here, place one there just to make it look cool. We're going to place, we're going to build these up as a four. So we're going to go right there like that, but actually I want to run them. Yeah, we're going to run it as four. We'll run them as four. So we'll just run these four as four. One, two, three, and four. There we go. And then we'll run these last four over here. So we don't have to worry about them. There we go. And we'll use the last crop pot, right? And not there. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that one up really quick. And then I'm going to maneuver it. So I will put all the plants down on these while you guys are not watching me because uh, that's going to take forever to watch them. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to try to line some of this stuff up, make it look kind of cool here in the middle. So we're going to do one here. We'll do one there. We'll do one there. And we'll do one there. And then we're just going to kind of angle them in. So we still have our thing. It's not going to be perfect. I'm hoping I'm getting them pretty dang close to what I want them to be, obviously. I'm not a perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not deadly, so I can't get this stuff 100% perfect. We'll place this baby right there. Place this baby there, and then we'll, of course, we'll do a after everything's grown picture is what we'll have. But there you guys go. There you guys go. We have it all placed. All our gardens are down, which is cool. We'll go ahead and place those in a little bit. Now we gotta place. Gotta have barrels. Gotta have beer barrels in here. So what I did is uh, I want to place these. I'm gonna flip them. If possible, it doesn't look like you can. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place them as three pieces right in the middle. So one, two, and three. So there's our three bear barrels. Those are up and running. We've got our dung beetle down here. So my overall goal is to now place our little silo down here. This is going to place down all of our, our, our crops and everything. And they'll give us all of our stuff. That looks fantastic. We're great down here. So then we just need to place down some torches. So torches should go here and here. And there we go. So I'll place down these torches, the rest of these, while we are not sitting here watching me do nothing pretty much is what you guys are pretty much watching me do is place down torches. I don't want to bore you out too much. So we're going to place down one over here and just place one more over here. And that should be good enough to get us some cool lighting in here. We place those other ones down on the outside. We'll go and finish those off. And then I'll place all of these guys later so you guys can see how those things end up, which is kind of cool. How we're going to end up with those, I'll probably put them like in the middle or something. So we'll figure that out after we get done with that. So let's go ahead and head off to the egg taming pen. And we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And I'll show you guys what my plan is for that one while we're doing it. One thing I did do, which I will do before the next episode, is there's a flag up there. I'm going to put some more flags down and get the lemurs corner logo on there, but I have to build a bunch of paint, so I really don't want to do too much craziness with that. So that's my overall plan with that. However, oh, I definitely hit the wrong button there, so we are currently not in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out my inventory real quick here, guys, and change out a couple things so we can get things up and running in the way we need to and I made some extra stuff just to make it kind of look cool and hopefully get some area covered so basically right now what we are going to be going for is creating a fun little place for us to breed stuff however the issue is going to be that we have to put a generator down of some sort to place things and that's really where it's going to come into a problem so my plan was to place a generator upstairs on this little platform that we built up here Hopefully right here by the back side of this, as you guys can see, was my plan. I'm going to place it right here between the two. This is the entrance right there. There it is. So I just wanted to find out where that was. And place that baby right on that side. So right by the entrance is actually where I wanted to place this. Just like that. So we've got that thing up and running. And then last but not least, I wanted to place an incubation thing. Now, the only way you can test this stuff is to go ahead and place in my gas that I got for this. So there we go. There's all my gas that I made. We'll activate the power on that thing, which should be more than enough. But we're going to go ahead and uh, increase to the maximum radius. So it covers this whole area. And then we're going to go ahead and activate the incubator. And I want to see its full show insulation range. There we go. And I want to make sure we hit it into the right spot was really what it is. So you guys can see. It did not fully hit where it needs to hit. You guys can see how far it stretches out right to here. Uh, once the grid comes down, there it is. So you guys can see the grid right there. 
and it's really not hitting as far as we wanted it to and it's not because of anything other than the incubation range. So I'm going to make a bunch of those, get those ready for you guys. You guys don't have to sit here and watch it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place the feeding trough. And I want to place that right underneath because I think it would be kind of cool to hide in the staircase just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to check our range on this. I thought we could check the range on this, but we can turn it on. And then that should be good. So that should cover all of our little guys in the area to feed them. Now I've got these little bird pen things that I made that uh, help incubate eggs and I figured you know what that'd be awesome to put right in this middle section right here just to kind of make it cool so we can incubate eggs in each spot and they look like little dodos and there you guys go you guys can see them being placed in there this is gonna be a very simple decoration I'm not gonna do anything too crazy down here I'll put some lights down and that's gonna be about it but we're gonna go ahead and run these on each side so we can get them up and running and get them nice and clear so that you guys go see they're powered and everything we can activate them as much as we want to we can get some eggs into them but that is pretty much going to be it other than putting lighting down for this one so all we're going to do is put some nice torches right here on these corners reason i'm going to place them right there is because it's going to work best if i place them right there so like this corner we have a little bit of that so let's go ahead and place it right here at this corner just like that and there we go so we've got some nice lighting going up it's roughly in the same spot as the other one. You'll light up. We can see those little lines. So I'll fix my, fix my incubation chambers. I'll stick those in the corner most likely is what I'll end up doing. And we'll go ahead and turn that one off. I have an extra couple that I have. And what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead, finish some of this lighting up, get some eggs in place so you guys can see how this thing works and all that kind of fun stuff. Get some lighting in because uh, I'm going to place some lighting on these walls just like so probably and place them in there so you guys can see the lights going in but other than that we're really going to keep it kind of dimly lit in here up except for on the the top roof part so what we're going to do is i will catch you guys here in a moment once i get back and we've gone ahead and completed all of our decorations for the most part minus a couple things here and there and i will place all of my eggs down and all that kind of stuff or not my eggs but all my seeds and everything get all my fertilizer moved over and as I said, get all that stuff done. So, and then we'll run through everything we did. And you guys can see the little plants growing and stuff. So we'll see you guys back here in a little bit. Welcome back. So we have completed all of our tasks for the day. You guys can see a couple flags have gone up in a couple places, but uh, we haven't painted them yet. We've got our garden up and running. We'll go ahead and run up there and give you guys kind of a quick tour is what it looks like. You guys can see all the different plants we got going in here. We got some irrigation running. We've got our dung beetle moved over. Hello, Mr. Dung Beetle. All that kind of fun stuff. We've got our fertilizer thatch thing down here now, as we've talked about, and the beer barrels are still down there as everything can see it. You guys can see that everything's working great. We've got water coming in from the rain, going into our pipes down there, and all that stuff. And then the big changes were obviously over in the hatchery that you guys have not seen. We'll run over here real quick and take a peek at those. We still have those basic stuff on the inside, but what's changed on the outside is we've got our little birds flapping, so they've got some eggs in there. As you guys can see, we've got a whole bunch of eggs all at 1%, so if I wanted to hatch it real quick, I could. And then we've got our little incubation thing, so if I wanted to, I could drop one down on each one so it reaches everywhere. On top of which, I also put a fridge over here to hide so I could throw stuff in the fridge as needed. We've got our trough up here, and then the only thing up on the upper floor is those two things, uh, those two torches, and the generator right there so that's really going to be it for this one though guys until we start building all of our lemurs corner stuff maybe we'll put images of our characters up on here or do something but on the next episode we're going to do a full base tour that includes deadly's base uh, eagle and deadly have become one base now so we're going to do a full base tour on that one and uh, the episode after that, we are actually going to build our own personal home finally. Yay! So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to build a nice little house where we've got some basic stuff in there, some of our cool animals and stuff. And we'll see you guys then after we finish that. But as always, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you guys are enjoying the games that we're playing and what we're making and all that kind of fun stuff. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below if you want to see something built beyond what we have already scheduled. And as always, guys, make sure you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.